let us try to solve this problem based on logarithms so for a greater than 0 solve for x the equation so this equation the equation involved with logarithms so this problem was asked in iit je 1978 right so just pause this video and just give it a try okay i hope that you have tried now let's try to solve this one okay so here we can apply various properties of logarithms in order to simplify this expression so you might know this property that if you are having something like this let's say log of a to the base b then we can put an intermediate base like this log let's say some other base let's say base c and here a divided by log of b to the base c so you can just introduce a intermediate base like this here okay so this property we can use in this one so let us see now here this one can be written as two times so let us take natural log okay so log base e that is your natural log so natural log of a divided by natural log of x plus this can be written as natural log of a divided by natural log of a times x in the argument plus 3 times 3 times natural log of a divided by natural log of a square x and this is equal to 0 now if you notice one thing this natural log of a and a is positive if you notice okay so if you observe this quantity that is your log a base e right so this is positive right now we can take log a common and we can divide both sides so this one we can write natural log of a common here and this one can be written as 2 times 1 by natural log of x plus 1 over natural log of a times x plus 3 over natural log of a square times x and this is equal to 0 so we can divide natural log of a both sides so this becomes your 0 because 0 by any non-zero number this is your 0 right we know this and here this turns out to be 1 so finally our expression turns out to be 2 over natural log of x plus 1 over natural log of a times x plus 3 over natural log of a square x and this is equal to 0 now let's see how to proceed with this so if you notice one thing we have this property that is if you are having let's say log and some base c and here it is a times b so product can be converted into sum right so this is one more property of logarithms so log a base c plus log b to base c we can use this property here right so this one can be written as 2 over natural log of x plus 1 over natural log of a plus natural log of x plus now this one can be written as so if you if you notice this that is your natural log of a square times x so this can be written as natural log of a square and here plus natural log of x so here this power will jump out again a property of logarithm right so here 2 times natural log of a plus natural log of x so finally this expression can be written as 2 times natural log of a plus natural log of x this is equal to 0 again ok so these are just all the properties here now now how to proceed ahead so what we can do here let us consider this we are having natural log of a and natural log of x so what we can do let's make some substitutions here right so here we can write let us take natural log of a as b just assume okay so b is taken as natural log of a and here natural log of x this one you take it as y now let's try to simplify the things so this can be written as 2 over y plus 
वन ओवर बी प्लस वाई प्लस थ्री ओवर टू बी प्लस वाई इक्वल्स जीरो नाउ वी हैव टू मैनिपुलेट दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो इफ यू नोटिस सर वी कैन टेक द एलसीएम एज वाई टाइम्स बी प्लस वाई एंड हेयर टू बी प्लस वाई एंड दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू टाइम्स बी प्लस वाई टाइम्स टू बी प्लस वाई एंड हेयर प्लस वाई टाइम्स टू बी प्लस वाई एंड हेयर थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स वाई बी प्लस वाई दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस क्वांटिटी इज ऑब्वियसली नॉन जीरो सो वी कैन जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस राइट सो फाइनली आवर एक्सप्रेशन I'll just copy this expression, right? So this part I'll just copy it and paste it over here. Fine. So this is equal to zero. Now, now we have to manipulate this expression, right? We have to just uh, resolve this. So we can just multiply this. So we can write here <coughs> two times two times two b square plus b y. Plus two times b y plus here y square, right? And again two b y plus y square plus three b y plus three y square equals zero. Now here this can be written as four b square plus two times b y plus four b y. This is your y, right? Four b y. And plus two y square plus two b y plus y square plus three times b y plus three y square. Now let's see how can we resolve this. So if you notice here, four four b square, and here we have four b square, and then we have y square three y square here, two y square here, and then one more y square here. So this can be written as Six times y square plus next two plus four six okay six plus two eight eight and three is eleven so here eleven b times y plus four b square now we can happily factorize this okay so on factorization so we can write this one as six y square plus split the middle term three times b y plus Eight times b y plus four b square is equal to zero. Now here we can write three y is common, so this can be written as two y plus b, and here four b is common, so this can be written as two y plus b. I hope it is readable to you, and as well as it is understandable. Now here two y plus b is common, and here we are having three y plus Four times b equals zero. Now from here we can write two y plus b is zero, or three y plus four b equals zero. So from this we can write y equals minus b by minus b by two, or if you if you isolate y from this, so this can be written as minus four b over three. Okay, fine. Now we know already that. y is taken as log x so if you notice y is taken as log x so let's put all this appropriately so this will be your log x right and here you have and value of b already we are having that is your log a if you notice this is your right log a if you notice here it is b now this can be written as minus b that is your natural log of so i have taken natural log so i will write here natural log of x and this one natural log of a for b right and here two so these two i can cross multiply and again i will apply property this i'll put in the power of x so that that turns out to be log of x square in the argument and here natural log of a inverse right so this minus sign i can put in the power now if you compare both sides so we can write x square as 1 by a right so x square is 1 by a and from this we can write so we can take square root on both sides 
so if i take square root on both sides that becomes square root of x square is your mod x right and since things are in okay so your numbers if you notice here log x right solve for x and if you notice here your base is x here right so considering the positive value of x here so i can write simply x as 1 by square root of a that can be written as x equal to a to the power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so this is the first root for x okay and then let us try to solve this one so value of y we already know it is natural log of x and here so let's cross multiply this 3 okay or you can say multiplying 3 both sides so 3 times natural log of x i'm solving this one basically okay and here minus 4 and value of b we know natural log of a so this can be written as natural log of x cube and this one can be written as natural log of a to the power minus 4 and this can be written as by comparison by comparison we can write x cube equals a to the power minus 4 now we can take cube root on both sides right so take the power 1 by 3 on both sides so i i hope that you can understand this right x to the power 3 and here power 1 by 3 here a power minus 4 and here 1 by 3 here so this 3 cancels out so it is simply x and it is your a to the power minus 4 by 3 so this is the other root of x so these are the two answers so your x is either a to the power minus 1 by 2 and x or your x can be a to the power minus uh, minus 4 by 3 and if you notice both are positive okay so if you check their domain is appropriate so nothing gets nothing becomes undefined right so a is greater than 0 since a is greater than 0 obviously so if you see the power here so positive number positive number okay power so here minus 1 by 2 obviously this is your positive number as well as this is also positive hence these are the two roots and this is your answer i hope you liked it okay and it's really a good question right it has many concepts okay it has involved many uh, concepts like quadratic equation and the properties of logarithms okay so using all these properties of logarithms and basic uh, algebraic manipulations we got our answer i hope you liked it okay